this video, I'm going to show you how to put a link inside the table. So here's your table and um, we're going to embed it into a page here shortly. But before we do, we want to make all of these different items in the market report clickable. So what we have to do is we have to add some code to them. So the code is going to look like this. I'm going to actually type it up here so you can see it first. A href equals pound sign is going to um, symbolize the link target equals okay so this is what it looks like so a href is link and then you insert the link here target is blank that means it opens in a new page the name whatever it is so like it's houses for sale and then this break this is the end so that only this word right here is the link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it into each one of these and I'm gonna put the end at the end of it. So. I can't do expired so I'm not gonna do that one. And this works um, in any, for any reason that you are wanting to make a link in TablePress. So in this case, I'm making this table for the market report. Now, why did I add it before? Because I can literally save this table and they will all save in there because that pound symbol symbolizes an actual link. <coughs> now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the link. So let's say um, I have the links already created in IDX Broker, then I would come here, and this is for Summerlin. So houses for sale Summerlin. So I'm gonna grab the link right here, and I'm gonna come in here and place this with the link. All right, and then this is houses under contract. Um, in this case, I don't have one, so I'm going to take the houses for sale right here. I'm going to duplicate the link. Give it a new name. Here it is now. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. So I want to remove active and I want to put under contract, under contract, Oops, sometimes it does that, under contract, under contract, and save. So that is now going to update it. And since we don't have a city here, I'm just going to wait for it to load and make sure that Summerlin is down here. Yes, it is. Okay, then I'm going to go over to preferences real quick and I am going to change this and I'll add it right there there Oops. save it okay so now I'm gonna go back to my website or my save links and I'm gonna grab my link and I'm gonna come here and paste that in there so I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this until they're all done sometimes though these links do not um, show very well in the table if that's the case then I'm gonna add an additional tag called strong so I add that at the beginning and then again all the way at the end and I always end the little end the forward slash bracket. So that is something that I would recommend if you're going to add a link to it because it does make it look better and you can see it. So then you don't add it to the ones that aren't links. And 
and then I'll save. And then when you go and look at the report, you'll see that the ones that are links are actually darker. So they stand out that they're clickable. Now, whether the client clicks on them or not really isn't important. What is important is Google is going to see this. So this page is actually more important for Google than anything else. So because when I made this page, I actually looked up the keyword Las Vegas housing market gets right now. A thousand to ten thousand searches a month so this is a great way to make a landing page by creating a table with subdivisions or with market data like this and then putting it in a page and using the keyword in there so that's it that's how you add links to your tables in table press yeah.